so myself bhagwati lal sudhar basically i am from rajasthan india and okay. uh, Uh, currently like uh, i'm working as a senior business development manager in an it company mm-hmm. and uh, like uh, yeah i do have around 8 years of experience in business development in managerial levels and uh, executive level as well okay and right now like uh, i'm connecting with you because like i want to be somewhere like out of india so uh, maybe okay. in europe locations so you are already there <laughs> okay okay and uh, i did watch your videos from youtube itself so like mm-hmm. it was quite impressive so that's why i thought to like uh, get in touch with you so yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's good to see you over here <laughs> for a really kind person i mean many times you know some people don't even uh, try to help with others but uh, like you are great i i i like your way Okay, whatever you can say, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Most welcome. Be there, so you know, finding jobs is uh, not like uh, easy to get a job over there. Uh, even I have been in Singapore like for around a year. I okay. did some diploma from there for business management, and I did internship as well. But you know, the, all the always the issue is like the working visas. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so I do have friends from uh, Europe itself, from Italy, from Berlin, and from Czech Republic. So mm-hmm. they are like from their local. Uh, they they are from basically uh, Europe, right? Mm-hmm. So they suggested me to like uh, go for the studies over there. Then I can find out the job. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if you have seen my videos. Uh, I think in one, maybe I have not released it. I don't remember, but. someone asked me in skype like he wa- he is working in india and he wants to come here to and i said like i mean i personally i don't have much experience in how can you directly come for working and how easy it is but right. uh, the thing is like if someone studies here then it's obviously much easier to get the job but i can understand in your situation like when you have like eight years of work experience you don't want to go back to study i mean it depends on interest obviously you don't want to force fully study and spend the money and then you are not sure if you'll finish a masters and there's no point of just spending money like yeah absolutely right even i do have a lot of clients from norway from uh, berlin mm-hmm. even we have some companies from berlin they are like working as a partner with my company and oh, okay. uh, they recognize like they recognize from myself so like if mm-hmm. i talk about my uh, like about me only over there then definitely don't they, they knows very well like uh, uh, how like uh, how strong i am in the skills of the business development and technology things but still okay. you know the issue is like it's, it's not possible to get a job over there and it's not possible to get a visa over there <laughs> the thing is like uh, i mean if someone hires you then they will uh, sponsor the work visa because work visa is normally sponsored by the employer i, I mean here the rule is like that so right. first thing is to get the job but did you look at any of the websites in the i mean any of the job portals that they have when you google it you see something like uh, I yeah, I I did visit some websites and uh, like uh, I do got some sponsors as well. But uh, mm-hmm. you know the issue is like uh, uh, if if they are sponsoring, then they are not going to pay you the exact salary which is like should be for that thing. And sometimes they provide some kind of uh, contract uh, things and the. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is like that. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know exactly about the salary when you directly apply from there, but uh, every job has something like that, like a contract, which is like I think it will be something of a less duration, like one or two years, and then they extend it based on your performance. Just like you have the probation period in every company when you work as a fresher or something like that, but. i also understand like what do you mean like when you have that much work experience then you also need of that scale of job not like you uh, right so so that is the only issue like if i'm looking for a manager level of uh, yeah, position yeah. then they will provide me and like you know the kind of intern and all these things so it's not good to good to go for as an like uh, intern after working 8 no, years no, or 10 no, years no 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 
<laughs> I mean, so that, no, that's no. why even like uh, my friend uh, from uh, Italy, he suggests me like you can come for the business studies over here. Then you can mm-hmm. go for like uh, you are exact uh, platform, or maybe you can start the business. So even I'm focusing on the business. So uh, that yeah. means if even if there is like a one year MBA, that also you can do, right? Yeah, that one also I can do. But because like, uh, MBA here, I know. I mean, one of my cousin sisters, she did her MBA like two or three years back. I don't remember, but they spent a lot. I mean, she also had like six years of work experience in India, but right. she wanted to settle here. That's why they did the MBA here. Uh, so that was the best option, as I heard at that time also, like two three years back. Uh, she had like six years experience in India, but still she did the MBA by spending a lot because whatever I know, whatever you spend for two years master's here, right. you spend that same amount for one year MBA. MBA is expensive, but mm-hmm. uh, so it will be roughly around 40 or 50,000 euro, you can say. So it will be very expensive. So 40,000 euros current euro, it will be somewhere between 35 to 40 lakhs or maybe 45 Absolutely. lakhs. Something. I mean, it is expensive. MBA is more expensive than masters, but okay. it is one year and that is worth it. I mean, when you have that and you have this work experience, then you can negotiate and get that higher salary because. So I just want to ask you uh, one thing, like uh, many of my like friends, even they are running uh, some kind of consultancy uh, firm over here in India, even in Singapore. So mm. they suggested me for like for the bachelor. So they said like uh, if you don't want to go for the master and don't want to spend a lot of money then you can go for the bachelor degree so it will cost uh, a lot and you can get a better time to like uh, settle no, yourself. I understand but I don't think so like I mean <laughs> I mean sometimes you have to see like the the how do I say like the money and the time both things are important it's not like only money you have to also see the time like uh, right. I mean three bachelors is like three years and Mm. it's not also that cheap I mean currently the price I asked one bachelor student a few weeks back just to know what is the price so that I can make a video and he said like 9,000 euros I mean it is cheaper than masters but still in three years the tuition fee will be around 27,000 euros 9,000 per year and then you have the living cost and living so including everything it will be somewhere equal to two years masters or little bit less uh, it's right. not that much of a difference if you come to netherlands for bachelors uh, mm-hmm. i mean in my opinion if you want to spend le- less and spend one year more then you should do masters by not doing mba i mean that way you can save some money but then you waste one more year. So you have to choose like, uh, but that is the best way because I don't know. Have you ever asked your friend in Italy? Like how is the salary and everything? Because I know in Italy salary is a bit less as compared to the Western Europe, like Netherlands or Germany or something like that. Right now, uh, just like around uh, a month ago, he shifted to Austria. So he's getting around the... Uh, oh, Austria is good. I mean, I was yeah. just talking about Italy because people who do PhD also, because in PhD here is like a job. So yeah. the salary that we get here in Netherlands, Luxembourg or Germany, it will be like, I mean, you can say like Switzerland, Netherlands, Luxembourg and Germany are one of the top paid PhDs in the whole world. Two locations that he said like I can go to the, you can say, uh, to the Norway or I can go to the Poland or mm-hmm. from there like uh, if, I, if I want to travel then I can travel to like other countries and I can see which is the best then I can transfer my cost to like uh, for other things or if I could find a good job then I can like convert my uh, study visas to the working visas over there. So mm-hmm. is that possible? I mean in Netherlands I don't think it is possible. Maybe I don't know about Poland and Norway but Norway, are you are going to directly apply for work or you are going to study there and because normal cost of living in Norway is much, much higher than Netherlands. It's like Switzerland. It's very expensive. Uh, but if no, you are going to work there, like that is different. The, like, yeah, right. 
he said like oh, if i go to the poland then uh, yeah, poland is okay, cheaper in... poland i know is very very cheap i mean poland yes. compared to netherlands also it is really cheap like food and living and everything is really less cost is very right. nice. that's why he suggested me poland so he said like uh, it's around 3000 euros for the uh, bachelor and mm-hmm. uh, then uh, like uh, he says uh i can like uh, do make a payment in 50 50 and uh, if i want then i can go for the the whole amount at the time and he suggested me the university name is was uh, i forgot that one it's uh, rocklo rocklo university or something okay i i have heard about that place but i don't know about that university so the thing is like i think it is better like i mean considering the time and everything i think you can also look for, if bachelor's is cheap in those countries then you can also look for masters why do you go for bachelor's i mean like uh, so i mean what i want to know one more thing like uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is the document process like uh, if i apply for mba so like uh, the document so normally, checkup process what is that i mean i don't know exactly the score but if you check their website they normally ask for the in mba they normally ask for the gmat score like mm-hmm. the just like gre they have the gmat you might have heard about gmat right yes so they have certain score cut off for gmat and rest i think is the same as masters like a motivation letter and whatever i am saying now is from 2015 so it might have changed now every year they change the rules so right. you need to check their website uh, and rest of the things like some recommendation two recommendations and your transcript showing your i mean your cv and also your transcript what grades you got whenever you graduated and everything i mean bachelor's or whatever and yeah i mean those are the basic things when you apply for masters they don't ask for gmat they ask for gre but sometimes it is optional because in europe gre is not that important and i think in both the places they'll ask for your english uh, proficiency test like ielts or toefl uh, right. it's like a cut off so you need to be above that cut off to be sure that you are admitted it does not matter whether you score high or low it's just like a screening cut off score you need to get in those exams all right even uh, one of my friend uh, from agra uttar pradesh he uh, joined mba recently in uh, mm-hmm. france i think yeah uh, france okay now I, now i should this. say because i i heard recently i mean my information is very limited but from some videos and some other sources i heard that france like in strasbourg or some other places it's very good for I don't know about the cost, but the MBA is of very good quality considering the jobs you get and other things. Right. But here, I think scholarships are very limited. I mean, if you're looking for scholarship, then Netherlands is not the right place. I mean, generally, people very few people get scholarship. I mean, the the even if you take a loan, the return that you'll get after the investment is really good. I mean. after some time when you pay back it will take you like 2 years or something like that and then because you can save at least like 50% of what you get it's not that difficult but that's the thing like you have to spend so yeah but, recently uh, i got one offer as well from uh, germany and uh, mm-hmm. they said like they have a, a, a brand like the, their branch in uk they started an e-commerce in uk and okay. they were looking for like uh, digital marketing manager and uh, business development manager so they sent me like an invitation to apply for that one so i did applied on that uh, but the issue was like uh, they were asking for the master degree and uh, i don't have any master degree here in india itself yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. uh, issue as well even they they offered me a very good package for that one so they said like the starting package will be around 35000 euros then uh, if i goes good uh, after one year they can like uh, tax will be uh, deducted from our company so you will get 35000 euros uh, uh, in your hand oh that that is in your hand i mean like yes. 3000 euros per salary. month yes okay that then it's good because that's why i was thinking like 35000 gross is really low that's why i was thinking like how can, is it possible i mean net salary 35 with your experience is very good good that's really good 
I mean, again, the thing is, if you stay in Germany, not everywhere, but most places in Germany are cheaper as compared to rent, as compared mm -hmm. to Netherlands. Like, right. language is an issue, but there are many other things, I'm just saying. No, even, even they, like, they give me a very good opportunity. They said, like, uh, if, we, if we hire you, then definitely we will help, help you to, like, uh, survive one or two months over here. So, mm -hmm. for the one or two months, we will provide you the, uh, like, uh, residence and uh, food. Then, in then, each other. then I think you should immediately see about doing master's. Because once you do master's, combined with your experience, see how much benefit you are getting. I mean... Uh, yeah right so that's that's why i, I but then i can see that. one thing the best thing is like if you have certain positions in germany you are thinking then why don't you do the masters in germany if you can find some matching courses or uh, i mean some streams about master because if you go to germany the advantage is you pay zero the tuition fee there is no tuition fee in germany most of the universities are free like they charge only 100 euros per year and uh, the only thing is that if you can manage to get in these companies which you had relation while you were working, then there is no issue. After masters, you can easily contact them or have a good connection before. And because if you study in Germany, the advantage is you don't spend. You only spend on living, which is really cheap. I mean, considering the present cost, you'll spend around 10 lakhs or 11 lakhs at max for two years. Mm -hmm. That is your total cost expense. Because you spend only on living, not on the tuition fees. And the living is also cheaper as compared to the Netherlands. Right. So, like, uh, as you said, like, it's only 100 euros for that one, uh, the university fee and all these things. Yeah, you there can check online if you want. The The official site is called DAAD. Dad. Find a lot of information there, like the scholarship, universities, faculties, tuition fees, cost of living, everything, jobs, uh, career fairs, everything. That's like Indo-German. That's the best place, like a hub where you can find all the information about India and Germany, like combined programs. So, so do, do you got any idea about the, like, uh, how we can process for that thing? Germany, I know like... Uh, it's different, but uh, whatever I remember, I think they asked for, they, they sometimes ask for GRE score. Actually, it depends on the faculty because I am speaking about computer science, but mm -hmm. uh, you have certain, uh, you will be aiming for some other uh, courses like the maybe business management, I don't know what it is called, like. I mean, oh, even I had BSc in computer science, so I can go for oh, the master's okay, in okay, computer okay, science okay, itself. Okay, 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 okay. Then I think you'll find a lot of options. I mean, during my time, the computer science master's was limited. I mean, there are only two universities in 2014-15 when I was searching. Mm -hmm. uh, there are only two universities which had full English program. But now I know there are many universities. Not uh, At that time, there were like mixed German-English, only German. Mm -hmm. Only English was very limited, like two, three universities. But now right. I think you'll find a lot of options. Like you can look for, I know some of the universities, I don't know all by name for computer science, like TU Munich. Or you can look for Stuttgart University. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And there is another like Bonn, University of Bonn. I think during my time, the only two which were in English were Stuttgart and Bonn. Okay. And all this information you'll find in the DART, that website, if you type these names or they have different filters, so you can use that for searching. That is what I also use. Till now, I get the emails from DART, like, we are organizing this, come to this, the alumni is coming, come to this career fair, and there's so many things I get. It's not useful, but I have not cancelled it, so it's just coming to me. Right. So, uh, one more thing I want to know, like, uh, when you go for the like visa process and all these things, so like how do the process our documents on? So the, I like, mean, do I normally need to submit each and the, everything over there. Normally in the masters, what happens is like when you get the admit from the university, they give you the guidelines. Like uh, you need to show these documents, or they send you something by post if it is required to show something in original that you got admit or maybe a scanned copy, it depends, it varies from place to place. So they will tell you everything, I mean, it is mentioned in the, it's not difficult, I mean, once you have a approval from the university, then, I mean, you are going, doing everything legally, so you will find all the rules, it won't be a problem, like, 
you just find a embassy near your place because when i mean for netherlands our university organized everything so mm -hmm. they just asked us to book an appointment when everything was ready from their side then we okay. just booked an appointment with the local i mean i booked with delhi so i booked with delhi embassy and then i came there and one day they just to take your biometrics it's not like us they don't even interview is very limited they ask you few things they just take your biometrics and yeah. then you are done like next day you receive your passport is stamped with the visa that is valid for 90 days and once you come here they will give you the card that is the residence card which allows you to stay for 2 years or 1 and a half year depending on the length of your program but best i think in your case it will be better to go to germany like you won't spend and then when you get job if you can establish that contact then you can easily get job in germany or you can also look for netherlands i mean at that time it's much easier when you're inside europe and you've finished your masters and you have that 6 8 years experience i mean considering the quality of the course and everything i would say not to go to poland i, I mean i've never heard a lot about poland so i i'm not sure like and if you compare the cost <laughs> i don't think that poland is also as cheap as germany because germany is like i think in finland also there are like two three places in europe where you are free for tuition fees so that is the only okay. advantage why most people come to germany but the only issue which i have mentioned in many videos is that you have to i mean in your case that is not an issue but for some freshers who have no experience right if you want to work immediately then you need to know b2 level of german so that you apply for the companies you have a german cv there are many other things which is not important for you so that's why i said like went to germany like in our batch there are some juniors they went to germany and there was like a, I, i forgot to tell there is also some masters in germany which is like one and a half years and for right. working people that is best like you should go for I, i another thing i forgot like in netherlands there is a one year masters it is mm -hmm. expensive but it will cost you like 12000 euros per okay. year so that is the amount you pay for the tuition fees and your living will be approximately you can put like 700 per month so it will be 8000 so you'll spend like 20000 euros which is equivalent to right. currently it's like 15 or 16 lakh rupees that mm -hmm. will be your total cost for studying and living in netherlands for one year masters Okay. and if you do that germany one for one and a half or two years then it will be like Eight or ten lakhs. That is the only living cost. So that's how you can. I think this is the best. If you are near Netherlands, if you want to come later, also you can come. Like even if you. No, even Germany. like uh, definitely, I will go. I will uh, like search out and I will uh, pro prepare for the Germany, as you said. Mm. So it will be good. Like if I can get a chance to uh, get the. Uh, I mean, once you Germany. enter inside this area, then you are quite safe. I mean. applying from here without the degree because you say some are also asking for the masters degree so once nice. you have that then you see like you have so many options will open up like yeah even i, I do have a lot of uh, clients from there so yeah, a yeah. lot of times so, they ask so me you can uh, yeah, contact them me. later also like it's great then uh, let me know like if you have any suggestion like uh, for the university uh, like for the german yeah yeah i is... as i said you like i mean i know some of the universities because some of my phd's who are working here now they did their masters in germany so i from them i've heard about many other like there is another called saarland university the one i told you tu munich stuttgart bonn uh -huh. and there is another called saarland universities i mean these are like a moderate universities which may be safe that's why i'm saying if you go for i mean munich is ambitious it's a good university but uh, there are some other also like very good universities i think the l3s i mean because mm -hmm. i know about computer science that's why i'm saying if it maybe you can apply for frankfurt because one of my <laughs> promoter he is like uh, i mean he is not working exactly in the admission but i'm just saying like he is a professor in dipf frankfurt max planck 
Next plan, no, I didn't. It's very famous. I mean, it's one of the reputed. If you go into any Max Planck for masters or PhD, people will just see you with like. It's a very great thing. Like, Max. There are many universities which come under the cluster of Max Planck. It's like the as you call the Ivy League universities in US. It's similar to like that, but Max Planck reputation wise and everything wise, it's really good. Anything else you want to? Like suggest, which is no. I, I think uh, like I consider. think this much information is too much. Like I mean, if you search around these things, I uh, you'll definitely find something. Like yeah, I would not take like too much time of yours. 